Yo guys, what is up? Baseball season is officially over for the Boston Red Sox, and I think we should talk about what the Red Sox need to do this offseason to get back into World Series mode. Uh, just get back to being World Series contenders, let alone playoff contenders. Um, first of all, we have fired Dave Dombrowski. That happened a month or two ago. Um, and Dave, you know, he, he, got, he got his players. He got his players to win a World Series for us. That was great. Um, he couldn't deliver, and I, I like that the Red Sox fired him, first of all. Um, you're telling me you're still in the playoff hunt with a couple months left to go at the trade deadline, and you do not get any relief pitchers when that's your, that's your major thing, and your excuse to why you didn't do it is that your team – uh, a team has to win right now in order to get players. Well, that makes no sense. To win, if you want to win and your current players aren't doing, aren't winning, you you should get new players. You get new players. And honestly, it pissed me off when he said that because it makes no sense at all. You know, get you're supposed to get players. You're supposed to get bringing new players when the current players on your staff aren't working. And he legit did the opposite and said. Instead, the exact opposite reason to why you get players. You don't get players because your current situation is good. You get new players when your current situation is bad to make it better. And he didn't do it. And that's why and we fired him. And I wish him the best of luck. He was great with the Tigers. Um, he did good with the Red Sox. Not going to say he did bad. Did decent with the Red Sox. And hey, so long. But uh, what the Red Sox need to do this offseason, here's what we got to do. We got to sign Mookie Betts back. I, I don't care how much money it takes, we got to sign Mookie Betts. If you do not sign Mookie Betts, this team ain't winning another World Series in a long time. Uh, second thing we have to do, get back J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez is more important to this Red Sox team than anybody thinks. Uh, the guy's a decent, he, he's he's. He's a decent fielder, outfielder. I'd say he's decent, but we could move him. We could put him in DH, and we do that a lot. We put him at DH, and that's great. Next thing we gotta do: get relief pitchers. Like I said, we did not get any pitcher relief pitchers at the trade deadline. We did not trade for any relief pitchers, and that was horrible on Dave Dabrowski's route. Gotta get relief pitchers. Next thing we gotta do, say goodbye to Rick Porcello and Chris Sale. Rick Porcello and Chris Sale were amazing for us. They they were with us with the World Series champions. That's great. I there's nothing wrong with that. But they're on the down end of their careers. They're already starting to go. Chris Sale's getting injuries. Rick Porcello, you know, he ain't the Cy Young he used to be. Okay. Next thing we gotta do. Get well, this is what we got to do before we even do anything. Get Theo Epstein back as our general manager and owner. Theo Epstein, while he was with us, that was one of the bright years of, years of the Red Sox. Okay, when the, when he was with the Red Sox, we were we were constantly, you know, 2004, 2007, winning World Series. We were winning World Series. We beat the Cardinals in 2004 and we beat the Rockies in 2007. That was all under Theo Epstein as our GM. Back when Ortiz was on fire, we had Manny Ramirez, we had Jed Lowry. You know, I can't even believe I'm saying it. Jed Lowry. We had, <laughs> we, we had John Lester, Josh Beckett. We, we even had John Lackey for a bit. You know, we were World Series contenders. You bring in, you, you bring him back, we, we will be fine. You know, and that's the thing. You know, even with the Cubs, what the Cubs have done, even though they, they're, they're not going to win a World Series in a bit, you know, they won a World Series with, under him. And we got to sign him back. We have to sign him back. We need him back with the Red Sox. And, you know, he, he can help us majorly. Um, the reason why I say we got to get rid of Chris Sale and Rick Porcello is this. Hear me out. They have not done anything for us. They're only adding cap space to us. They're only they're only making us not being able to sign 
back, back monkey vest with J.D. Martinez. And they're not going to do anything good for us in the first place. And you get rid of Rick Porcello and Chris Sale, who, by the way, aren't the same as themselves. Yeah, they might go somewhere and they might do good. They might do good. I'm not saying that Chris Sale or Rick Porcello can't do good anymore. They can do good. But I think there's more of a possibility that they're on the down low of their career and they're not going to be doing as good as they used to be. And that's just me being honest. Um, you bring back Mickey Betts and Jane Martinez, who are still going up in the primes of their careers, and then you bring in, a, then we can bring in a new starting pitcher. Um, whatever starting pitcher is a free agent that's looking good, he could be a young starting pitcher. Um, he or you know, and also the Red Sox need prospects. Um, I, I I think it goes without saying the Red Sox need prospects to do good. Um, we we have done well. We have done well with our farm system for the, over the past few years. We have Jackie Bradley, Mookie Betts. We've had we've had Andrew Benintendi, Rafael Devers, Bogarts. All those guys were down in our pro, our our farm system for a long time, and they've come up here and become stars. But you realize that the prospects that I've named, none of them were pitchers. None of them were pitchers. You know the last prospect prospect we really had that was really good was was really um, Rodriguez. I, and Rodriguez is not a bad pitcher. I'm not saying he's a bad pitcher, but he ain't he ain't an ace. You know he ain't an ace. You know and I think he ain't Luis Severino. You know he he ain't he ain't a prospect that. You know I, I'm I'm gonna say he's a Hall of Famer by the end of his career. And while Rodriguez is a good pitcher, I'm just, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. I think he's, a, he's not a number one guy at all, not even a number two. But we need a new pitching process because we, our last pitching project that we had was really Henry Owens. He didn't do really good for us. I have not heard of him for a long time. And, you know, it's just, it, we have to get a pitcher that is willing to win for us. And right now, the Red Sox just don't have it. You know, we need prospects. We need a pitcher in general first, but we need prospects. You know, I, I don't really know Chris Sale's, Chris Sale and Rick Porcello's contract details really, but they're not looking too good. Um, they're not going to be free agents by this year, so I trade them over the off season. I trade them. Um, Another guy that I'm thinking about, Dustin Pedroia. Why, why are we still have Pedroia? Honestly, I, 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 and honestly, I love Pedroia. I, Pedroia is one of my favorite players of all time. But he's not doing anything for us anymore. You know, I, I feel like the Red Sox have just moved on from Pedroia. Um, we just have. We signed him to a large deal back in 2013. And, you know, it, it just, he hasn't been working out for us. And it's not all his fault. It's been injuries and all that stuff. But we've basically moved on. We have a new infield all together. You know? You know, he was, he's back. He's not, a, he's getting older. We, we're spending so much money on him. And we could be using this money to get other guys that are going to be producing. And Pedroia just hasn't done it. Pedroia, even when he's healthy, he hasn't really done that much for us. And I'll miss him if we do trade him, but still, it's just, is he really worth keeping around anymore? You know, I think we have to think about trading Pedroia away. And I know, I know it will be hard, but this ain't the 2007 Red Sox anymore, the 2013 Red Sox anymore. It's not the same team. You know, it, we have to stop acting like, like he, it is. You know, he, he's just not the same player he used to be. And I think people saying that, people saying that, oh, you gotta keep him. He's still, he's the last guy from the 2007 World Series team. It doesn't matter now. Who, nobody cares about what you did back in 2007. Now, it's about what you have to do right now to win. This team is all different. It's gonna take new faces to win with this current team, and we don't have that. And I think it's just a problem 
when you don't ha you don't have enough money to get relief pitchers in the off, off season, so you have to sign guys from Walmart to pitch for you. Like our bullpen was dinged up. Uh, our bullpen was horrible. Our starting pitcher was pitching was decent, but after we get a lead. And once that starting pitcher comes out, we blow a lead. And guess what? The Yankees did the same exact thing. But you know what the Yankees could do? They could finish a game. You know, the Yankees, they, they blew saves, but they, all, they eventually came back in some games after they blew saves. You know, the offense was able to come back. This Red Sox offense is great. I'm not dismissing it. But the Yankees offense, I, I hate to say it, is way better. You're going to tell me that the Yankees lineup does, it does, isn't better than the Red Sox lineup? When they're healthy, of course. Not when they're banged up. But when the Yankees right, it, lineup is healthy, that's a better team. Okay? Stanton, Judge, Urshela, Sanchez. Do you know how great that is? Gardner, Gardner can still hit. Gardner is still a decent. DJ LeMahieu. Luke Voigt can hit homers once in a while. And I don't think we're giving... We have... We don't have that. We have Andrew Brown, Kenny, Mookie Betts, Rafael Devers, Andrew Br it, We have great players. But... I'm not trying to bash on the Red Sox hitting at all. Alright, the Red Sox hitting is the bright spot of this team. And then we have to keep the Red Sox hitting the... We have to keep it this way. You know what the Red Sox hitting is really good at? Hitting when we have the lead. When you have the lead, the Red Sox can win. But when we're down by a bunch of runs, they just don't feel it anymore. They don't hit. And I've noticed that throughout the season. That when this Yankees team is down, they still keep on pushing. I didn't hear that. I didn't feel that with the Red Sox this year. When they were when they were, we were we were down by just a, just one run. I feel like they already gave up on the game. And that's what the Red Sox team felt like. That's what it just felt like to me. It, it just felt like once they were down, they didn't fight to get back into it. Their pitching didn't, and their hitting didn't. Anyway, in an over recap, this is what we gotta do. This is the final recap. This is what I'm gonna say. Sign, sign J.D. Martinez back. Sign Mookie Betts back. Give Mookie Betts and Jamie Martinez as much money as we can. Get rid of Rick Porcello and Chris Sale. That will already free you up on so much cap space if you do that. Maybe trade Chris Sale and Rick Porcello away for some prospects, some pitching prospects, and some hitting prospects. Because we don't really have a lot of hitting prospects in, in Pawtucket right now. Um, next, sign some relief pitchers. Sign some relief pitchers over the offseason. Maybe they're free agents. I don't care. Sign some relief pitchers. Also get one more starting pitcher, and you'll be fine. But anyway, that's, that's what I would do if I'm the Red Sox right now. you got to do it. you got to do it. Because if you're ever going to think about winning a World Series, it is not going to be... You cannot win a World Series if you do not have Mookie Betts and Jaden Martinez in, on this team right now. And that's the, and that's the majority of the point I was making. Maybe it happens. I don't really think it would happen. But this is what the Red Sox need to do. I don't think that's the majority. I don't think that's the majority. You know, he's not a key player anymore for us. You know, I hate to say it, but he isn't. Um, I don't think the Red Sox will do it because Dustin Pedroia is like every Red Sox fan loves Dustin Pedroia. But this just might have to happen. Anyway, that's my point. I'll let you guys just let me know what you guys think. I'll I'll, I'll respond to your comments anytime. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a new video. Peace out.